Okay, I'm gonna get right to the point. I actually had to pull over to do this video, and I'm sure a lot of people will be happy about that. Seeking Alpha, I think it's Ed Haggith, put out an article just recently that was a thesis for why, they're, why we're deep into a housing crash already, or downturn, or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, if you don't know Seeking Alpha, the link's here. Uh, a lot of people put investment advice on there, and, and much of it's behind a paywall. This is one they put out there as a promotion to why you should pay to uh, get this advice, and I think it's all wrong. Read the article yourself, judge for yourself. I'm not gonna go into all the deep data and, and, and debunking or refuting each point, which I actually did, and I filmed a video earlier today that I'm probably not gonna post because it was too long and too drawn out, and, but I spent the time to do it, to go through each point of the article. And what really gets me is when uh, the media or someone writing something uses small snippets of data to prove a point that there's a downturn or an interest rate has gone up. The problem with this is that using data from August, let's say, or July of last year, saying interest rates are up, pending home sales are down, you're ignoring everything that's happened since then. We're at the lowest interest rate we've been in 12 months. We have a strong economy. We have uh, housing loans that were made on very strict lending standards. So using all of this data that some of it was based off of fear, interest rates were gonna go up, some people pulled back, pending home sales slowed down, interest rates went up just a little bit for a month or two, now they're back down to where they've been for a long time. And my gosh, anything below 5% or even more than that is amazing. This Seeking Alpha article used data or information from niche, mar niche markets in New York saying that, uh, that people weren't selling their houses because the taxes were too high and that's a hot housing downturn. Used niche markets in, in Seattle, it's been on record growth saying there's a housing downturn. So, you know what really grinds my gears is when people continue to perpetuate the hype of a housing crash when there is none. Maybe something will happen in the future. And I'm gonna show this graph again. I'm gonna show the housing increase. New York City, there's been a lot of talk about this. New York City hasn't had a, a true decline in the housing market except for 2008 in the Great Recession. So, again, don't believe the hype. Read this article, take a look at it. Judge for yourself. But what I don't like is when media takes the, the all these different articles that are, I, I don't even want to say what, what people use, use the term for the news lately, but take these articles that are not correct, that are using misinformation and taking snippets of a whole macro market when you need to be looking at each individual market, per, for example, and using that as a basis or a thesis for their for what they're writing. So... I don't know what else to say. It's driving me absolutely crazy to see these articles continue to come out. And now to see one from a uh, an investment advice advisory company using all the examples of these articles that many of them have been debunked. Anytime there's an article with a picture of a building crashing into the ground saying, the housing crash is here, home sales are down, taking one month or going month over a month doesn't work. You've got to look at year over year. And even year over year from a hot market to a market that's softening a little bit, doesn't always work. Do your homework. Make comments. I'd like to hear what you have to say about this. That's all I have to say. Thanks.